Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we are in Eastern Washington State where we will be watching the framing of an H-frame transmission pole. Our participating utility is the Bonneville Power Administration and this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. And our opening scene is the on-site safety briefing and now you're going to see the cross arm that's being constructed to raise up onto this H-frame, these two poles creating an H-frame. Now you see the bucket truck going up as they prepare that cross arm to be lifted. And now you'll see our two line workers climbing the each side of the H-frame to install the framing. And you'll also hear the wind whipping through the microphone. It's quite windy out here as these guys are up on the pole. You see the cross arm now coming into view. The line workers here are wearing GoPro cameras. So let's go up and see what they see. So here's the view of the cross arm coming in from the linemen up on what we will refer to as pole B. There's going to be A and B poles of this age frame. Here he is attaching a bracket to secure that cross arm to pole B. He has to mark the position for the bracket and then drill a hole. I have reduced the background noise. The wind is quite, uh, quite loud and quite strong up here on the poles. As he drills through for this bracket. And now you can also see glances of his counterpart on pole A as he secures this bracket. You'll even hear them trying to communicate over the wind. And now you see the counterpart on pole A as he tightens down this cross arm bearing bracket on the top of the pole. And next he has to secure and tighten the ground wire at the top of the pole. And now we'll go over to the view from pole A again as the cross arm is coming in. See the supervisor pulling in in his bucket and notice the level on the cross arm too to make sure it's uh, straight and level up there. And now doing the same uh, process as you saw on pole B. On pole A here they need to drill some holes with the key difference being that on this uh, pole A we've got uh, two guys working on it at once. So that makes the job a little bit quicker on this side to keep up with what's going on on pole B. And now let's go back over to that pole where you will see them drop a tape measure and make a mark on the pole where they're going to uh, install a bracket, drill some holes and install a bracket to install an X brace that will give some support laterally between the two poles. Here on the other pole, marking again from the cross member down to where they want to drill a hole to install this bracket. Again, making a mark on the pole and then drilling some holes to install this X brace. And now we see that X brace being lifted from the ground. You notice the ground man here has a what's called a tag line on the corner of the X brace. That's to keep it from twisting in the wind because it's so windy out here as they raise it up. Now we're going to see it from, we're going to alternate on the GoPro cameras here to see how this is put into place on both the A and B poles. You can hear there that the two line workers can talk to each other across the way and now you see the the top of this X as it's being attached using some bolts and uh, holes that they've drilled. Put in a couple of brackets here to hold this in place. And you can see here still working at the top of the X brace and as we go back over to the other pole we see them doing the same thing working at the top of the X brace to secure it down to that hole to provide the lateral support. And in fact, as the linemen move down the pole, they're attaching, uh, securing the ground wire again. Now we're at the bottom of the X, securing that ground wire attachment, tacking it to the pole as they go. Here you see it from the ground. One guy's drilling, another guy's finishing tacking down the ground wire. More tightening up of the ground wire. And continuing to tack that ground wire into the pole. As you see, we're getting much closer to ground here. You're going to see ground come into view quite clearly. 
and now some closing shots from the ground. You can hear and see the effects of the wind on that bucket. Here is a shot of the finished job, the H-frame pole with the X-brace and cross arm attached. They also mark the pole with the name of the line. And here at the base of the pole, we see a tumbleweed blowing across to show you just how windy it still is out here. Here is a shot back to a completely framed pole. You see the travelers up there to pull line through. And as the crew moves on to the next set of poles A and B to be turned into a fully framed H-frame transmission pole, you have now seen our TND How video on framing this pole. Our participating utility was the Bonneville Power Administration. We watched the work of contractor Wilson Construction. This video was sponsored by Burns and McDonald. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you as always for watching.